Welcome everyone. Uh, today we're going to explore how integrating SMS into your HubSpot campaigns can elevate your marketing efforts. Um, please keep in mind on this call we have uh, our product manager Sandro Babic. So if you have any technical questions, you can uh, feel free to ask. Uh, like Lou had said, you can put it on Q and A, um, or just raise your hand. Um, I like this to be interactive, so uh, any questions are more than welcome. Um, presentation will be shared with you guys afterwards, so no need to take pictures or screenshots or anything. Well, you'll have it um, in your email later. All right, so let's delve into the world of omnichannel marketing and discover the untapped potential beyond email. Um, I say to you about 45 minutes, but um, I believe it will be quite quite a bit shorter. So the power um, of your CRM uh, going beyond email, channel diversification, ease of integration, benefits and outcomes, and Q&A. So this is kind of the um, journey of the presentation. Then connected. All right. If you see me looking in the other direction, I have multiple screens. So uh, in any case, all right, customer management. So everyone knows how important um, uh, customer relationship management tools are. It is the cornerstone of modern marketing uh, strategies. So um, enhanced customer understanding, uh, providing valuable insights into behaviors, uh, preferences and interactions. Uh, by leveraging CRM data, marketers can personalize and tailor the messages and offers to ind individual customers uh, improving relevance and engagement. Um, ongoing communication and relationship building, um, customer retention, that's a critical role. I like to call that customer lifecycle management. It never really stops. Um, efficient marketing operations uh, with centralized data and automated fuse. These tools reduce manuals and increase efficiency. Uh, specifically within HubSpot, um, HubSpot integrated integrated CRM marketing, sales, and service functionalities in one form, providing seamless user experiences uh, um, and holistic view of the journey automate repetitive tasks such as emails, lead nurturing, social media, post save time, and scale your marketing efforts, analytics and reporting, uh, gain actionable insights into campaign performance, return on investment, personalization tools. You want to uh, be able to create personal, mar personalized marketing campaigns. It's all available through HubSpot. Um, obviously, scalability and flexibility, it is not a tool for just SMBs. Uh, it varies from SMBs all the way to the enterprise uh, customer base. Um, so it's a CRM is basically a complete set of uh, solutions that you guys could are currently utilizing, which drives us into omnichannel marketing. Um, what is that? Uh, it consists of brand experience. Omnichannel marketing ensures that customers receive a consistent brand message and experience, regardless of the channel they interact with, uh, fostering trust and loyalty. By reaching customers on their preferred channels, you improve uh, customer engagement. Omnichannel marketing increases engagement interaction rates, leading to higher conversion rates and customer satisfaction. Leveraging uh, multiple channels allows marketers to gather comprehensive data about customer behavior, preferences, and, and interactions, enabling more personalized and targeted marketing campaigns. Um, recur increased return on investment, that's basically the, the ultimate goal through um, introducing omnichannel marketing. So we have these three pillars, let's say customer management, HubSpot, and omnichannel marketing. And how do they all um, come together? Well, it comes together through 
SMS. SMS combines these three pillars perfectly. There we go. Sorry, my um, animations are a little slow, or I'm a little slow compared to the animations. Now, looking beyond, what does that mean? It's going beyond email. Everybody is used to email. It's uh, it, it's the ultimate. It's a time honor standard in marketing. But everybody knows that there are constantly changes happening on the market. Um, Anti-spam filters and uh, people are actually not reading as many emails as um, as um, people marketers expect. So going beyond email, what we're talking about is increasing the open rates. So SMS messages significantly um, improve the open rate um, of the com marketing communication. So an SMS once received, about 98% of people will actually open up the text message and read it, whereas email is around 20%. So that's a, that's a huge uh, benefit. Response rates. Uh, this is what we're, we mean when, um, when somebody, you ask for um, an action from user and um, you expect them to reply back. One perfect example in this case is um, the net promoter score. So in order to get the net promoter score, what you need to do is send out surveys after the purchase is made. Um, usually it's done via email especially online um, <clears throat> online purchases. Um, the response rate from my uh, talking to some uh, customers is response rate is about 5% if you use email, if you're lucky. Um, when it comes to SMS, the response rate goes anywhere between 20 and 25%. So you're quadrupling uh, the response rates for the net promoter score surveys by introducing SMS as um, a communication channel for that use case. This is just an example I wanted to show you about the response rates. Um, engagement. Um, <clears throat> on average, people check their phones over 150 times a day. I have my phone sitting here next to me. Uh, it's, I'm looking at it probably 500 times a day. I think I'm on the extreme end, um, which makes SMS a highly effective channel for reaching and, and engaging with the audience. Okay. Um, it's critical diversification. The next step here is um, what, what's really in communication channels. So we have audiences that we're, we're talking about. Um, different demographics and segments uh, prefer varying communication channels. By diversifying, you ensure you reach out um, the segment effectively. So the key here is you want to communicate with the end users on the channel that they prefer, which means you have to introduce all the channels into your uh, communication bucket. Um, avoiding over-reliance. Um, relying solely on one channel, such as email, leaves your um, lead mar uh, vulnerable. Um, there's constantly, I mentioned earlier, changing algorithms when it comes to um, you know, detecting email spam and putting it into the junk box and things like that. So um, you want to avoid over relying on a single channel. Um, maximizing reach by leveraging multiple channels like SMS, email, social media, WhatsApp, Viber, and et cetera, um, you extend your reach and you assure your message um, reaches your audiences wherever they are. This is, this is critical. Um, SMS, email, social media, WhatsApp, Viber, they all work together. So what we're talking about here is specifically SMS, but what we're not preaching is that SMS is the, um, is the golden um, solution for everything. So SMS is a part of your whole communication offering in all the channels out there. So we, uh, in addition to SMS, we offer WhatsApp, we offer Viber, and we offer other uh, channels as well. Voice, for example. Now you might be thinking, um, okay, cool. How do I use HubSpot for an SMS campaign? 
and we'll get into that now. Um, <clears throat> okay, uh, we're proud to call ourselves a, a trusted partner of HubSpot. We're here today with uh, White Hat because we truly believe in connecting you with your customers in the most effective way possible. The goal drives our entire mission. Uh, by partnering with Mito, you unlock the full potential of SMS marketing within the HubSpot ecosystem, delivering impactful and personalized messages that resonate with your audience and meet your um, meets them where they are. Seamless integration, Mito offers a, um, a in, seamless with it. And HubSpot, HubSpot requires a few clicks, and you're good to go. Robust and efficient routing. This is something that is specific to the, the telco world and SMS uh, technology. Um, our routing platform is um, leading in, in this world, in this industry. We process billions of transactions monthly. Uh, we support some of the biggest brands in the world. The top uh, social networks in the world rely on us to deliver their SMS communication uh, to their end users, as well as small and medium sized businesses utilize our uh, services also to communicate with their businesses. So you have a trusted partner here. Um, ex exceptional support. We have a dedicated customer success team. We, we have 24 7 support. We have account men, sales engineers. So it's a complete uh, offering that you get from us. Moving on, um, SMS solution paired with Hub, how does that really give you? So you have Mito in combination with HubSpot, you get personalized messaging. Uh, you're able to target exactly the contacts you want to target with the exact message that needs to get to them, thanks to the powerful features within HubSpot. Uh, you're able to automate these campaigns, so it's quite easy to uh, make flows uh, that that you uh, you've all used uh, the flows for your email so basically by adding SMS you're able to automate those flows as well and personalize them um, and finally real-time analytics this is where we're looking at you know you can track your uh, feedback uh, your performance um, you can optimize the messaging and look at your click-through rates and delivery rates and etc keep in mind that there's a whole section within hubspot but also mito in parallel provides you with uh, with a solution that is uh, reporting and, and analytics that are on our platform as well we've covered a lot of this. Uh, now what we'd like to go is um, explain how actually easy it is to integrate the solution within your um, within Hub. So what you really need to do is go to the bot marketplace, uh, search for Mito, select Mito, <coughs> excuse me, download um, the integration, and follow the easy to use uh, instructions on how to get it uh, working. You can get the API key from Mito Self Service Portal <coughs> or uh, by contacting one of our um, sales executives to open a, an account. I have to apologize. <coughs> I, I came prepared with water, with uh, candy, and everything, but I still have a lingering cold, cold that <clears throat> it just won't go away. All right. <clears throat> Once you've um, downloaded and installed the uh, Meet application, you can open um, one of your HubSpot contacts and just send a, a direct um, SMS through the Meet uh, plugin, which is located in the bottom right or the side panel um, of your HubSpot um, user interface. Um, you can also send messages to a group of customers using the workflows section. 
and of course uh, segment your contact list as you would with an email campaign and build in as many steps and logic as you need. Um, you guys are the experts in this, uh, so you can you can create the flows or uh, workflows as you decide. <coughs> Next step is um, you have to craft your message with a clear and compelling call to action. Um, keep your messages concise. Uh, it is SMS, so uh, you're, you shouldn't be writing essays into into your campaigns. Um, SMSs are, are limited to a certain size. Um, but please do uh, leverage the personalization. So you can use the first name, for example, and uh, various other components from the CRM. Um, we also recommend that you use um, short URLs in order to drive traffic through to your landing pages, um, depending on what your campaign is about. Um, marketing messages sent to audience of all sizes. So you can choose the recipients for your SMS campaigns based on segment criteria, specific contact lists, um, effortlessly send tailored marketing messages of any size. So it's really uh, quite flexible. Um, automation workflows. From within the dashboard, you can classify a message as either um, a transactional or a marketing specific, which outbound phone number you prefer to use so that customers can reply back to you if you have a call to action with a response required. Um, you can easily blend SMS into your workflows, um, streamlining the integration with your email, social media campaigns for heightened automation and efficiency. Okay, um, we spoke about monitoring, analyzing uh, results and tracking performance. So you can track the performance through the HubSpot analytics dashboards. You can also track the performance through the Meet the Zone dashboard. Um, you can also add um, short URLs, which could be tracking, you know, the, the traffic within your website. So there, there's quite a lot of uh, data you can utilize and play with in order to constantly improve the ROI of your campaigns. What are the benefits um, and outcomes? Um, it's easy to add SMS to your existing flow, no extra tools or platforms uh, needed for your team to learn or download. Um, you still have all the fun existing functionalities uh, of HubSpot available to you now how does this benefit your brand? That's what we're here to, to see. Um, increased engagement. Engage more effective, leading to higher open rates, higher click-through rates uh, compared to traditional marketing conversion rates. Uh, SMSs are pretty much instantaneous. It takes a few seconds for the message to arrive to the phone. Um, the conversion rates and the open rates of a text messages, the read rates are significantly higher. We're talking high 90, 90% range. So it should improve your conversion rate. Personalization, similar to email, you can tailor the message to individual customer. <clears throat> No, cost effectiveness. There is a cost associated with SMS, not as cheap as email, but if you consider the effectiveness, the improvements in the conversion rates, it is extremely cost effective. Your customer base everywhere in the world. So I know there's um, the majority of the people on the call are either from the UK or within the European Union, but a lot of your business and, and the places you work in have customers all over the world. With Mito, you get coverage 
all over the world. It's not just focused on a single market. <clears throat> I'm streaking, um, automating SMS while maximizing. So these are some of the benefits um, and outcomes of uh, using the SMS integration. <laughs> I have a couple of cases here. Um, uh, there was an online retailer. Uh, you know, they had challenges with loyalty, sluggish sales. They had a very nice database of um, customers. Um, so what they did uh, implemented the SMS uh, plugin for HubSpot. Sent out um, a bunch of customer, um, let's say, uh, campaigns and significantly increased the web traffic to the uh, um, website. Um, and increase the the repeat customers uh, that came in. So that that's something that really needs to be utilized. I, I spoke earlier about customer lifecycle management, and this is where SMS plays a critical role in re-engaging existing customers and making them uh, repeat customers. Then we have a, a case where a, a fitness center. Uh, which heavily relies on um, classes or those uh, targeted, uh, let's say, specialty classes. Um, in order to get people to sign up, email is not really an effective way. People just don't read an email and just get excited about a Zumba class or whatever those bicycle um, uh, classes that they have. So sending out text messages, um, made a massive difference uh, for this customer in getting the signups for the classes. Omnichannel marketing, including SMS, we did. We spoke. About, um, it's more personal uh, via SMS. Diversification is critical. You don't want to rely on one. Once you want to use all the channels possible, um, enhanced engagement integrates leads to higher open rates and click through. Improved conversion rates. The ultimate goal is return on investment. Cost effectiveness as well. Uh, only pay for what you use. Contact the customers that have the phone number. Okay. All right. Now, beyond. I think it seems to be repeating, but in any case, uh, I'll I'll read these out to you. Um, adding. Uh, can maximize your investment in HubSpot. You're already using HubSpot. You're already paying for the tools. By integrating SMS and Mito into your ecosystem, you're just utilizing the, the tool to its max. Um, new opportunities, uh, new, it, it differentiates the campaigns. It gets your team thinking about new ways of, of communicating with your, we're all used to sitting there for focused on one or two into our customers, but unless you will realize how many different options there is to um, to communicate with the end users. And stay out of the competition, right? Uh, people are uh, used to receiving the, the emails, but is, is not going anywhere. It's still uh, a critical, let's say, uh, component of of our offering and that's to be that flat fluid i think or maybe i'm looking presentation i had a um I our, our uh, how it seems they have disappeared. Does anybody 
have any questions while I if try you and if you have that demo, my, that, uh, would, that would be great. But um, failing that, what I'd like to do that was incredibly informative, and I really appreciate that. I mean, one of the things that jumps out to me that I didn't quite realize is the scale of Mito as an organization, right? Um, when you talk about billions of messages that you're managing, these are enterprise level systems for some of the, you know, some of the biggest corporations in the world, right? Um, so I think one of the things that people often worry about when they're dealing with a third party integration into HubSpot is the stability, scalability and trust of the partner. Um, and I think you addressed that really well. I mean, how long has Mito been going as, as an organization? Um, over, we just celebrated, was it 15 years or? Yeah. Wow, okay. So you guys have been around as, um, as, as HubSpot itself, right? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, I, we've, been, we've been around for a long, and size-wise, I did show that we process billions of messages, but like I said, we process, we, we support the biggest social networks in the world. And then we also support some of the, you know, local mom and pop shops as well. So we, we have a very diverse range uh, of Absolutely. customers all the way from Brazil to, to Asia, to, to China and everything in between. Which, which kind of leads me on to the next question. Um, and just before I do that, I noticed that um, one of your team, I think has put a YouTube video link in, in the chat. So if people want to see uh, a walkthrough demo, then it's, and it's there. And I'll make sure that that link is sent out to the group um, afterwards. Um, talking about the global side of things, this is an issue. I know you know this is the London HubSpot user group, but you can see from the chat that we've got people from from all over the world here. HubSpot themselves have a very basic SMS which they're rolling out, but it's only available in North America at the moment. Um, just to confirm that your system is actually available globally right now is is that right definitely definitely so uh, like every single country in the world um with uh, with compliance and regulations as well because every market in the world has different rules and regulations and that's one of the benefits of working with mito you get um we have the expertise to guide you and tell you what is allowed what is not allowed. Certain markets have uh, regulations. For example, you cannot send a, a marketing message after 8 p.m. or before 8 a.m., right? So this kind of regulation is what we can um, advise you on. And I know how difficult it is for people who are sitting in London doing business in, in the Middle East or, or Asia. They can't know every single market and telco regulations. So this is why um, working with us, you basically come in and just ask for um, or or speak about. Okay, sorry, I just got um, uh, distracted because I got a message um, from Magnus. Okay, sorry, it's a personal, it's a DM, it's not a question. <laughs> no, no, no. All right, um, another question for you then. Traditionally, I suspect when people think about messaging, whether it's SMS, whether it's WhatsApp, what jumps to mind is is B2C type engagements, right? This is the traditional way of, of outreach. You, know, you, you gave a specific example of a gym and, and that's an obvious use case for this. Um, a lot of the uh, participants in this group and HubSpot generally are in the B2B space. Do you st are you still seeing the same type of um, performance ROI results uh, when dealing business to business? I mean, in general, you, you can utilize it, but uh, B2B is a, a little, how do I say? Uh, it, it depends on the use case, to be honest. We have a lot of uh, B2B customers and you need to send them reminders and alerts on, for example, late payments or they owe you something or yeah, a special offer that you know specifically who within that 
B2B space, you of course you could use this channel yeah. as well. I'm, I'm thinking specifically a lot of our clients run physical events, right? I mean, as, as do we. Um, yeah. It makes sense. Everybody's trying to optimize the, the turnout for those events. People forget, they get distracted. Um, I would have thought that would have been a quite a good, a good use case, right? I mean, uh, um, look, in, in the B2B space, we have a lot of us that use us for internal community. We have customers that have thousands of employees, and then they send out text messages to their employees, reminding like uh, um, an all hands come up or sending them a text message to say happy birthday. It's a lot more personal than just sending out, um, you know, an email or, right? Yeah. Perfect, perfect. Uh, Everybody likes to get that, that text message pop. 100%. No, I, I get that. Final question for you. Um, your, your sound cut out a little bit when you were talking about cost. Uh, and I just wanted to, to cover that <clears throat> so that people didn't miss it. Um, obviously, there is cost involved in this. Can you just talk through the, the, the pricing model and, and, and how it works? Yeah, so, so text messages in general, uh, the telco operators uh, define the prices, right? Because it is a telco service. It comes, we have to purchase it from the telco operators and then package it and sell it. <coughs> we work on a per, at the moment, we're still on a per transaction model. So every country has a specific price. Um, it depends, it varies. There's some countries where it's below a penny per text message. And then there's countries that are charging 10, 15 pennies for a text message. So it really depends. Right. But it, it is a basically a pay-per-use model. You pay for the amount that you use. I suppose this, uh, I was saying that was the last question, but let me just <clears throat> stretch it out a little bit. Um, if that's the case, then again, if you look at the audience for this group and, and for HubSpot generally, there is a spectrum of, you know, the, the top end, the huge enterprise, the large corporates who just, this obviously makes sense, all the way down to the, the single or small groups of marketers who just want to uh, get systems out. So you do have offerings that will work for the smaller businesses um, and they're pretty easy to set up, right? Definitely, definitely. We I, I mentioned that there's a self-service portal Right. So um, using that the self-service portal is um, it is a few clicks and you get an account and and you're good to go. Brilliant. Listen, yeah. thank you so much for this. <clears throat> it's really been informative. It's been great to so the community. Um, expect an email coming from us shortly with the recording for this, the slide deck, but also some resources. I'm sure Milo, we can we can put some um, some links together. Um, we'll some, some yeah, absolutely. We'll put a pack of information and put a date in the diary, 15th of May, because um, Mito are going to be going into this in much more depth. You can meet them in person, um, and that's going to be in central London. So I'm really looking forward to seeing everybody then. Thank you so much. Thank you all. Stay well. Okay. Thank you all. Bye. Bye.